Aries, namaste. Hope you're doing well. Fucking, I just recorded halfway through yours and all of, um, yeah, anyway, that's another story. Hopefully it's recording properly now. Looks good. Wow, Joshua. Wow. All right, we've got, where was I? I'll just start again, eh? <laughs> I'll have to because you guys have no, what I'm no idea what I'm talking about. Aries, it's time to take action now. Whatever you're doing, now. Now, 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 now. Now's the time to do it. All right. The flame is lit. A wonderful new start beckons and you're on the right track. Drawing this card is a superbly positive sign. If there is something you want to happen in your life, take this card as a big yes from the universe. This is the time to really tune into your dreams. You may still have a long way to go. After all, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, but you're on your way. Determination, self-assertion, and bravery are called for, but the hot fire of Aries is driving you towards success in whatever endeavor you're asking about. The caution, don't go too fast and forget your manners. Treat people well as you charge towards your goals. You create much better karma for yourself. True, very true. Don't even think about giving up. Don't even think. Think about giving up right now. Aries, you hear me? Avoid being brash right now. You need a 12-month plan. A goal without steps in place is just a wish. Have a plan. Put it in place. Stick to it. A new male is coming to your life. Could be a new love interest. Could be a new work partner. Um, Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, so new moon in Aries is the first of the 12 of the 13 new moons of the year. If you're committed to working with all the lunations and the new moon in Aries is right time to start, and drawing this card, no matter when you do it, signifies it's also ideal time to start your moon work, such as setting intentions. Goals, intentions, setting. Star Ancestor, Mirror Guardian. So, when I looked up Star Ancestor, we got, heed the message coming directly from your soul. The Star Ancestors, the Star Ancestors is a Native American term for extraterrestrial extra light beings who are dedicated to healing and the growth in the world. Those incredible beings are divine embodiments of love who bring wisdom from the higher realms. Often people feel the sense of connectedness when they look up into the night sky and see the stars. I believe that's because they are remembering their starry connections. And those are what this card represents. The star ancestor is reminding you that you are otherworldly support and that your friends from the stars can help you if you're willing to be helped. They can support you in connecting your following your soul's deepest calling. That's cool. There is a deeper purpose to your human journey. Not only were you born on purpose, you were born for a purpose. You were born to be a bright light in the world and there are supporters out there in the universe sending waves of energy to guide you at this time. Information and inspiration that has been coming your way recently is new information, but mem is not new information, but memories. Your feelings of being drawn into a particular direction are the awakening of an aspect of your soul. You're being drawn towards road that will not only light you up, but also help you light up your corner of the world. Continue following the cosmic guidance that is coming your way. Wow. I'm going to read Murray Guardian. Take some time to reflect on your strengths and challenges as and how far you have come. Recognize your gifts, Aries. Recognize your gifts. Angels accept you just the way you are, even when you are going through a challenging time. They still hold you at the highest esteem. The Mirror Guardian, a female angel looking into the mirror of life, invites you to witness your spiritual strength and beauty to see yourself as angels do. The mirror represents the fact that your core beliefs and ideas, ideas are a fact what is reflected back to you by your world. Your life is one big mirror of how you feel within the mirror guardian helps you recognize that. When this card appears, you are being invited to take some time to see what you are, where you are right now. You are a beautiful being who has surmounted so many challenges and expanded in so many ways. Your angels are now guiding you and taking inventory of your life. 
to take the time and note all of the recent experiences, the challenges you have surmounted, the strengths you have developed and the lessons you have learned. Your angels want you to reflect on your strengths. In particular, those aspects of yourself, those that you feel you have not been acknowledged by others, offer yourself approval where it's due and know that when you give yourself credit, others will be able to as well. Well, that got emotional. Um, whoever I was connecting with then. Just know you are beautiful, guys. Just know that. I definitely feel like this royal bloodline here. We got Serapis, Bridget, Love and Acceptance, Hope, Lady, Medicine, Guardian. Be open to healing information. I feel like I'll read, I should read that one as well. Because it's the one before. Listen to what is coming up within you and what is being shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. Healing angels can help you heal emotionally, spiritually and physically with their energy, but they can also direct you towards information that will help you return to wholeness. When this card appears, information is being revealed that you can help heal an aspect of your current situation, whether that be your health, relationships or even career. So be alert for this. The Medicine Guardian has a caduceus healing wand, which represents the capacity to heal with the power of all will and, and desire. You might know, your doctor might look like that. <laughs> um, capacity to heal with the power of all will and desire and a chalice which represents returning to the state of wholeness cup. A state where your cup is no longer full but overflowing with goodness. The emerald colour of the card represents the healing rays of Archangel Raphael and his healing angels. Yeah, Raph, he's been around lately. Th that all green is a lot, so I feel like Raphael is a lot. Definitely here, but you've got um, you've got Haniel and Metatron here as well. Aries, so you, like you've got a lot of support from the other side here surrounding you. You are being exposed to information and and insights that will have dramatic healing effect upon your life. If you are working through something mentally or emotionally, know that there are spiritual entities supporting your healing. If you are working through something that is physically challenging. Pay particular attention to information that's coming to you that feels inspired, insightful, and warm. It will be supportive for it'll be supportive of your wellness. Your angels are here to remind you that the natural state is one of that wholeness, and you are on the road to revealing that wholeness once more. Oh, you would truly love Aries. You really are. Don't hate, meditate. Okay, I'm gonna read the angels. What did we get? We got Yeah, Heniel. Honor your feelings. Thank Heniel for support me as my I honor my emotions. You're allowed to be emotional and it's completely natural to express your emotions. The angels are encouraging you to acknowledge how you feel and express that in a positive and loving way. You're a sensitive soul and probably more sensitive at this time. But this is great. When you express your emotions, you're expressing how much you care about the situation and when you begin to acknowledge how you feel, you come into deeper alignment with yourself. Your sensitivity is not a curse, but a gift from God. You are being encouraged to clear your emotions out by honoring how you feel and being honest with yourself. You will then be able to express who you truly are and will come into alignment with the gifts and talents you have to share with the world. Well, that is beautiful. Haniel is a goddess archangel of the moon. Her name means the grace of God. She is a powerful angelic force that helps us access our gifts and talents. She can help us unlock our empathic and intuitive abilities, but too. But in order for this to happen, we have to connect with the deepest emotions we're feeling now. Let Haniel support you in this and allow her moonlit aura to help you shine with grace. Cool. And read Metatron as well.
Metatron. You are being guided to clear your life of any harsh, negative, or challenging energy. It is time to make way for positive energy in your life. And the only way you can do this is by clearing your aura, body, and energy. Surround yourself with positive people and uplifting environments. The angels are encouraging you to call on them to help you clear your life of anything that's getting between you and inner peace. Clear any clutter from your home, office, car, or anywhere else you can spend time. When you clear clutter in your life, you clear psychic clutter from your energy. And when you clear your energy, you open yourself up to more abundant and spiritual experiences. Metatron is one of the few angels who have walked the earth as a human being, so he knows more than the other angels what it can be like to be challenged by people or situations. His name means the throne next to God, and he, and he has special connection with the current era as he represents the new energy and the connections that are opening up to the other worlds and, and heaven. He is the angel who can help us connect with the wisdom of God in our daily life. Wow, a new Metatron was special. Don't hate, meditate. All right, Aries, that's awesome. You've got a lot to look forward to. Um, a lot of healing work happening. Honor, honor your feelings and know you are loved. Don't be so brash, you know. Don't use, only use that fire for good, but watch who you burn, you know. Be careful who you burn along the way. Love you guys, including yourself. Stay real, stay humble, and thank you for liking. Please share if you think it will help, and thanks for subscribing. <laughs> Love you. Bye.